Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at CrunchBang++ Linux. Now I haven't looked at CrunchBang in a while. Didn't really even, I wasn't even aware that it was still in existence to be honest with you, but this CrunchBang++ is based on Debian Linux and uh, it runs the OpenBox uh, window manager. So therefore you need to dig in and get your hands dirty a little bit. Uh, but it does come really well configured. Uh, this is a this is the default Conkey, um, and I'm going to go over a few modifications that I made to it, uh, just so that I I would be able to feel a little bit more comfortable and set it up the way that I want. So let's open our browser and look at the CrunchBang Plus Plus website now. Uh, I don't see any direct download, uh, only a torrent download. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, they recommend that, that while there are older versions available, they suggest the latest 64-bit version, which is the, the uh, version 9. Now, as I mentioned, it's a torrent download, so you'll need to use some type of torrent application. I used Transmission, I believe. Uh, downloaded the file and then just uh, opened it in transmission and then it goes and grabs the actual file so if you're not familiar with torrent downloads then it'll probably be a good learning experience for you um, but the application that I used I believe I used transmission so once I downloaded it, I burned it to a um, USB and I installed it on an external SSD. It is the only app or only distro on that SSD, it's, so it's dedicated to CrunchBang. This is based on Debian 9 or Debian Stretch. Uh, let me go through a couple things with you and show you what I did. Now when you first boot into it, um, there'll be a login screen, login, and then you'll see a desktop wallpaper. Now this is one that I uh, downloaded on the internet, uh, but the ones that come with it are perfectly fine. But this one, CrunchBang Linux, is available uh, through download on the internet. Uh, if I right click, um, when you when you right click after the install right out of the box you'll get a um, a static menu um, it's not it won't reflect everything that you've installed you'd have to go into the configuration file and update it which is not hard to do but uh, I'm, I didn't feel like putting that kind of time in so what I did was after I installed all the applications that I wanted, I went into my sources list. So let's right click and open up a file manager. So I went into my sources list and I'll show you what I did. I added the Sparky Linux repo, see here? So once I added the Sparky Linux repo and I updated, uh, the application called OB Menu Generator was available to me. I downloaded it I, and I ran it and that provided me a dynamic menu with icons. So now I've got a terrific right-click menu. All of the icons populated. I'm using Fienza. All of the uh, icons populated, and I've got everything. So every time I install something, it goes into the menu. So as you can see, I was able to uh, download and install GUVC View, Kodi, OBS, OpenShot, uh, Pythos, Simple Screen Recorder, SM Player. So I've got pretty much everything that I need. Now you see that I have 
NVIDIA. Now, because this is based on Debian Stable, I'm pulling in 375.82, which is fine. No problems at all. I also was able to easily install my uh, Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers. Now, because this is Debian, I ended up having to do it at the command line. But it is very easy to do. And I've done vi videos on that in the past. It is very easy to do. I just need to know what packages you're installing. So, once I installed all of the packages that I wanted, and you can see I've got caffeine, um, nitrogen came preloaded, so that's how you'll uh, set your desktop image. And that's how I ended up setting this Crunchbox, uh, Crunchbang Linux. Now, in accessories, I added Solar. Uh, it comes with Terminal Emulator and Terminator. And even though it's using Openbox, they elected to use Thunar File Manager, which is fine. No problems at all with Thunar. Thunar is a full-featured, excellent file manager. Now, one of the things that I wanted to go over is the auto start. Now, uh, and as I said, in order to get this right click menu, then you will need to install OB menu generator. But once you have your Sparky repos installed, no problems at all with that. So let's go to file manager and let's go to dot config open box and then auto start. Now I made multiple changes to this auto start. So just to make a long story short, I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see I've got a NVIDIA command here to force full composition pipeline. And that's this here. Now when you add either commands or application names to the auto start file, you need to put an and sign or an ampersand after what you've typed in. So you can see nitrogen restore, which restores the wallpaper after reboot, need an and sign. Now, and as you can see, there are two nitrogen restores here because I had difficulty getting the wallpaper to restore properly and that is a known bug with the github version of nitrogen and so I had to play around and I ended up with two uh, and I haven't gone back to see which one is actually functioning but um, there are two now this is the original one that was not working I added this one up here this was part of a group start and as you can see, it's configured differently. And it was putting a, a two second sleep in to give Compton a chance to start. And then it was uh, activating nitrogen and activating your tint two panel. So I left it alone, but I added a nitrogen restore up top. Now, you can see that I disabled by commenting out the compositor. This is the um, Crunchbang++ compositor. Now, the reason I did that is because I wanted to use my uh, Compton. Now, they were using Compton before I messed with it, but I prefer to use my own uh, Compton startup command and my own Compton config file. So that's what I did. I've got it up here as you can see. Um, so I disabled the compositor, but everything else I left. And then I changed the conkey just to give a 10 second delay before the conkey comes into play. And I added caffeine indicator. So it's quite a complex startup uh, auto start file, but it's it, it's it's easily doable once you take a look at it you can figure out the logic of everything that's going on and if you put a uh, an a uh, number sign in front of a line 
it basically disables it from the auto stop process. Uh, in order to actually run a command, there is no pound sign and you have to put an and sign after the command. So that's auto start. So when I auto start, I get everything that I need. Conkey comes up, no screen tearing whatsoever. Um, I've got caffeine and as you can see I can activate or deactivate everything's working fine uh, but again it is a slightly complicated procedure but it's certainly a learning experience so if you if you, if you install it and you mess things up you can find all kinds of information online worst case scenario is you do a reinstall Now, as I said, it's based upon Debian Linux. Uh, I've been using Debian as my daily driver for a few months now, and it's running absolutely perfectly. Uh, I Normally, I, I, I have a uh, Debian stable install and a Debian testing install. I've got a couple on my hard drive right now, but this is one that I wanted to take a look at because it's already running open box and they do a terrific job setting up OpenBox and putting it just the way you want. Now, you can change your tint to panel. Uh, there's all kinds of modifications that you can make to uh, have it look exactly the way you want it. Now, if you want to change wallpaper, you right click, you go into accessories and you bring up nitrogen. And that's how you can change your wallpaper. Just select it and you're good to go. Now, let me go back to the menu. Um, I installed Steam and because I have my NVIDIA card and no screen tearing and everything is running perfectly on Steam. No problems whatsoever. For graphics, I've got GIMP, Multimedia, Kodi functions perfectly, no issues whatsoever. And as you can see, transmission is the default torrent uh, application. And um, that's what I ended up using when I, and I was actually in another Debian install when I downloaded the uh, crunch bag, the crunch bang uh, file, the ISO. So, if you're not familiar with OpenBox, you'll need to do a little digging because you can see you can reconfigure your panel. Here's OB Menu Generator, so you can regenerate uh, and you can refresh cache. So if you uh, if you install a, a program and it doesn't show right away in your menu, just refresh the cache and and you'll end up seeing it there. So for OpenBox, you can restart OpenBox. You can open the auto start file. Now the open box RC, uh, and I'll show you that. In your home folder, uh, I'm sorry, in your conf dot config file, you go to open box and the RC XML I made a couple of modifications to it because my keyboard volume keys were not working, so I set that up. And you do that within the RCXML file. So I now I have my volume working with my keyboard, as you can see. So th I added that into the RC file, and I also added it in centering of new windows. So when I open a window, it, pop, it populates in the center of the screen rather than smart placement. I'm not a big fan of smart placement. So if I open a, uh, an application, I, I want it in the center of the screen. That may not be something you want, but again, everything is modifiable. 
So I was able to modify and get everything set up the way I like. Now, the kernel is an older kernel because it is the stable version. So it's running 4.9.0-5, uh, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. Everything uh, functions properly. So that is it for this Crunchbang++. Plus Plus. Um, it is running Debian stable. It is an open box installation. Uh, it's very fast, very responsive. And if you're not familiar with open box, this, is, this would be a great uh, distribution to give it a try. Get your feet wet, get your hands dirty, and dig in. So guys, uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.